Uh, I've just dug this one out. Uh, one I, I, watercolour I did, uh, oh, some weeks ago. Just uh, some hills distant and far distant. Some cottages and farm buildings. And a bit of foreground. I might elaborate that. So we'll have a go. I'll try and do it in one, one hit, but I, I don't count on it. So we'll have a quite a, a brightest sort of sky, I think. Well, if I do it too bright, it's going to mean that that would be quite clear. But I don't oh, well, let's just start. Let's just put in a bit of blue. Oh, bring that down there. Okay, just to hold that. This is a piece of um, hardboard or masonite, which. Uh, which I've cut to a size, uh, 16 inches by 12, so I have a, several frames, and we'll put a bit of cloud shadow in. Let's get this fairly, just coloured, coloured in. Put in a bit of bit of nice cloud, nice of nice light cloud. Usual red, sienna, plenty of white. Okay, I'm going to the grey back. No. That will uh, give me a reason to justify putting the, the misty hills in the distance. So we'll put in some some of this coming down here. A bit of a uh, bit of red in there. Come down to that house or building. This is just a block in. This, this, uh, this is going to be completely different. This is just killing the canvas. Uh, this could be North Wales. But the thing is, you don't want one side copying the other side. That wouldn't do at all. So, coming down there, that one coming up there. And then we'll have some green landscape in here with the uh, hoops some tree slopes okay just get a bit of colour in a little bit of uh, I'm using uh, some varnish to dilute all, everything here I'll use a painting knife as well in some of this. Right, now we want uh, some uh, some good uh, greens. Coming down there. I've got hundreds of these watercolours now, so I can that I can work from. So I'm mixing a bit of blue, a bit of uh, green, black, black, and a bit of yellow. Okay. 
that'll go behind there. And we can have some sticking up here. Highlight the roof. Uh, get that down into there. Move the hedge right there and fit here. Okay, let's uh, put the brush in the water and we'll start to. Uh, We'll put in some of uh, this heather and all sorts of uh, interesting stuff. There's a little bit of a litter in with, uh, with this. I could put a bit of a screen here, couldn't I? To do that I'd have to paint dark around it. There's some... Uh, We'll see. Easy enough to do. It's hardly any difference between the light red and the burnt sienna. I might do this in two parts, I'm not sure. I'll see how it goes. As my grandfather juices later pick up my little treasure. Let's go back onto the uh, the hills now. I, I've nothing. I haven't any uh, reference material other than this this quick watercolour that, that is a demo. So I want to put in my background. So we'll uh, bit of blue, bit of alizarin. Oh, the dark on that. So we'll have one side catching the light and one side not catching the light, so we'll have a bit of bit of blue and black. Blue, bit of white in there. Between that, oh well. Try to, I'm trying to keep soft edges around this. So he's catching the light in here. Keep it nice and fluid. Right, okay, that's one side. Now with the other side, I'll, I'll, I'll lighten. Using my black.
I made that a bit lighter in here coming in here. So that will be different to the other side. Right. A bit of light through there. Now I can add some trees and details onto that. I'll go back onto the sky now, I think. Always got my cup of tea. Having done a year, or over a year, solidly doing the watercolours, I'm really enjoying doing the acrylics. I love the speed of the watercolour painting. But I do find that it, I was getting a bit samey. It's always difficult trying to find different things to do, different ways to say the same thing. But um, it's all infinite. I mean, you've only got your, your imagination, your own imagination, and that's the only thing that limits you, really. It limits me. Let's just get something like that out there. And let's get some some uh, alizarin and a bit of white that would be a nice uh, grey so let's just that's a bit uh, a bit heavy that's a uh, I'll put some light back in there I think uh. Right, let's get some blue in there. fill in those uh, areas of the sky which were just sketchily painted in the beginning. Right, now we've got our lights back. Exciting bit. Oops. Always have a cloth handy. Coming over the, uh, the lightest light and the darkest dark, it seems there. Then I'll go back with the uh, grey. A 
at the, uh, the hills bank. I can't believe we're using the largest brush you can get away with. Uh, and some dark, maybe some dark lowering stuff over the uh, top here. Yeah. Just to block that corner in a little bit and good old black and blue, a bit of white. Right, I'll let that dry a bit and I want to go back over that. And then I can start to model. Well, I can do that now. Let's. Uh, have a go at the uh, the trees on the bank on the cliffs here. That's uh, black, blue, yellow. So that's one lot of slope, one on this lot of trees. Blue, black. And maybe you could get a nice nice light green. Oh dark green. So I say let's, let's just get that coming down into that bit of a valley there. Just some detail on that slope there. Oh, it's okay. That's uh, it's okay there. Uh, put some detail in here. So we can put some rocks in there. Just want to go back here. Nice. 
bit of blue, a uh, bit of black with the sienna. Just. Okay, a bit of light on there. Now I'll go back into those hair. Oh no, before I do that, those, I will. Oops, my brush is falling apart again. Uh, I'll use this, this uh, old uh, brush. Uh, I'm going with. Yellow, black, blue. Red. Right, so let's just come up here with the uh, oops. And these are the uh, trees on the along there. in some I was going to oh, let's put some over in this top here Be a bit careful there. I've lost my counter change there. So I've got, I'll black it out with the hope that I can put some lights back on it. Right, let's go on the other side, do the same. So that's the new trees, and we can put some in in here. Keeping it nice and rough. Lights. Right, I'll just, just, that's quite rough there. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not happy with that roof, so I'm going to just get the shape, negative shape of it. Let's come across here. A bit better. Right, let's have a, have a little look at it on the screen. That's looking a bit bland. So I'll I'll uh, I'll dock to that. I'll I'll just go in with the uh, the roofs now. I'm going to put in sort of well I'll, they would hardly be red roofs. They would be slate grey, catching the light. So.
Most of them, we'll, we'll, we'll put in a one slate to a tile roof. Let's get in the uh, bit of black there. Right, let that dry off a little bit. Go into the foreground for a while. Now the foreground is going to be simple. Then we could go back and put some rocks and texture in there. Right, here we go, nice and light. Ochres, umber, uh, siennas. They're nice and soft in there. Oops. I'll have to go back over that. Okay, nice and light across this bit here, to contrast with the trees behind. Get a soft edge, always try, try for soft edges. So that just shows the tips of grass, weeds, whatever you want. Let's put a bit of shadow in there. Right, a bit of shadow in the, uh, in the landscape. If you do need shadows where there are undulations in the in the ground, and then you can paint over them. Incidentally, I, if you haven't seen any of my demonstrations, I prime the board with a with a varnish or PVA glue, something like that. You don't need to buy expensive mediums. I have been using KY jelly as a an extender to stop the whole thing from drying out too quickly. I want this quite uh, understated in the foreground here. Right, the uh, A bit of a hedgerow in here. Just to give a bit of interest. I'm using a bit of black and a bit of sienna. Start to texture over this now. Very quick. It's in the case of, of varying everything, making it all look a bit different wherever you go, just different lights, different colours. And then you can have some catching the light. Just an impression of something going on there. Light coming across there. Just 
chugging over. And then we'll go in with a bit of black and red. Too bad. Now let's try to do a bit of uh, a bit of texturing in here. Now that we, we'll have, we've gone, we've gone from light to dark, and that side's different to that. So let's just show the shape of these the slope here. to put some rocks in so if I use this little brush here right same the other side here and there As that dries, we put a bit of, bit of light on it. Oops, a bit too obvious. Cut in the light. No, I don't like that. Why that out? Do that with another brush. I've got to put in some uh, details on on here. And a little tiny brush. If I can find it. Here we are. So let's put in the chimney stacks. So that is that shine light. Bit there, bit there. Oh. Uh, actually, that's that's. I've got that one the wrong way there. Then we've got a darker side. Oh, let's just put that in. Okay. My light, my white, just on there. 
Oh, like that. Let's get a bit of a light go on at the tops of these. Want to put some light tops of the on the uh, grasses now on on the horizon there into that black there. Oops, now that's not dry right here. Um, <coughs> well, that's not looking <coughs> too bad. Let's put a bit of green in the uh, foreground here. Right. Okay, just to just to enliven it. Okay. Now I don't really want to anchor in the foreground here, but I suppose I could. It might be a little bit naffish if I put a bit of a rock in the foreground. But I'm not going to, I'm going to just sort that bit out there, which is bugging me a little bit. Just a little bit of uh, 
on that slope there. Right, I lost a little bit there, but I'm going to leave that. I'm quite satisfied with that as a demonstration. Let's uh, just sign it. I'll put it in a, in a frame. I deliberately underplayed the foreground because I didn't want it to detract from, from the background. So I will have a look. It might be a load of rubbish, but... But we will have a look. I have it just about this frame, nice and tight. Okay, well there it is. Uh, one painting of of the Welsh hills. Uh, yeah, so I quite, like, I quite like that, keeping that simple. And I've got all the edges along here soft. I just want to do one little bit. Um, is just there. I tried to do that before, didn't I? But no, I can't do that much. That's worn out. Really worn out. All right, let's just get... I just wanted to... It's still a bit wet there. Okay. A great one for using black uh, on the uh, shadow side was Roland Hilda. Uh, I think there we've lost a little bit. Let's see if we can just get some sort of uh, colour there. Just to... Yeah, well that's not too bad separates it from the, from the sky a little bit. Uh, I'll fiddle around with it for, for a while. Let's zoom into it. And then you can see there are my buildings. It couldn't be more simple than that. My foreground. Just scumble over the surface. Some of the underpainting, or the, the colour of the ground, ground meaning the board, the surface. Uh, I know what I can do, while I'm thinking, while I see it, is just put a little bit of light on there. separate those trees from the ones just slightly behind them. Yeah, that just gives a little bit of an edge there. So there we are, uh, Welsh Hills or Scottish Highlands, let's call it Scottish Highlands. The chimney stack is just a little bit too Small there, that needs to come up. And then we'll have slightly darker. Shadow there. Just buff that up a little bit. Uh, right. I'm not going to put a shadow on them, cast on the roof. Maybe. 
Now Ruth needs just to come. Whoops. Have to make sure your your roof lines are more or less parallel. Not quite. That'll do. Right, okay, that's uh, oh you didn't see what I was doing there. I, sorry, I'll go back to my buildings if I can find them. I've made them a bit the chimney stacks a little bit taller. And there's my my cliffs, hills, plenty of light, but just scumbled, scumbled on it to make it look as if it's random, spontaneous. And the soft edges everywhere. That is so important this, for me anyway. We've all got different ways of, of, of approaching these things, solving problems. But there it is. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.